Hello, all of you. A very good evening to all the participants today in this program and wish you all a very, very happy 2021. We know how 2020 went, right? So let's hope that 21 is very different from 20 and hope that we take all the learning lessons that we have got in 2020 and use them to win in 2021. The stock markets are high, obviously, and the business is also going to grow. And when we talk about business these days, and one thing that we have learned a lot in 2020 is that when you sit at home and work, right, remote working and freelancing, these were the in words of 2020, and you don't go out and meet people, how to still meet people, how to make networks. So networking has been the key word in business in 2020. And no doubt, the growth that LinkedIn has seen in 2020 is phenomenal, phenomenal growth, mind boggling, the kind of uh, amazing uh, things that they have developed and the kind of people that they have onboarded is huge. So people are realizing the advantage of networking these days. And therefore today we have got one of the, uh, I would say kings of networking in India today and in Asia Pacific. And we'll be shortly introducing him and we'll be having a good discussion. And I, I sincerely believe that all the people out there who are watching this live today and all the, those who will watch this later on on YouTube are going to gain a lot of experience because he's experienced for more than 20 years. So we'll use that experience and try to concise it to uh, formulate it within this one hour session. And that one hour will help you tremendously. Right. So are you guys excited? Great. So let's start. Let me just introduce Taxology Talks. So this we have been doing since 2020. We did two talks in 2020, December. And this is the first one of 2021. And hope we'll continue with this. And the kind of exposure we are getting, the kind of uh, love we are getting from all of you is tremendous. Thanks, thanks all of you, all the participants of the show, as well as all the audience to have trusted us, to have believed in us, and to have continued with us in this journey. So thanks all of you. And the kind of experience that we are getting out of it is also mind boggling. The kind of uh, questions that we are seeing, the kind of expertise that we are seeing, not just from the participants, but also from the audience, the kinds of questions that they ask, what, what is the world looking like? What is the future of the world? What is the future of the workplace? It's, it's fun and it's amazing. So we have got more than 5,000 people who are watching this session live and more than 10,000 people have already watched our previous two webinars, right? So that was Taxology Talks. And the purpose of Taxology Talks is basically to introduce uh, what I would say, the real leaders. Now, who are the real leaders? By real leaders, I mean people who have experience, who have seen the things. And when these people talk with experience, that matters. So it's not about this bookish knowledge. It's about real experience in the marketplace, the real experience down there in the business lane. So when that experience comes down here and it is concise in these 40, 45 minutes, it, it actually gives you a knowledge of hours and hours of experience, right? So that is all about Taxology Talks. I'm C.F. Farooq Haq, the founder of Taxology. And I sincerely thank Divya and the whole team Taxology who have worked sincerely, dedicatedly to make this possible and to bring this before you. So thanks all of you guys at Taxology. Now let me introduce today's uh, keynote speaker. You're right, Neeraj Shah. Now, actually, if you are into LinkedIn and if you actively use LinkedIn, you must certainly know who is Niracha. He has an experience of more than 16 years in what he says as 
learning about people, studying people. Now that's a that's a extremely important trait, I would say, because unless you know people, unless you learn about people, unless you read people, you'll not be able to make good networks. So I think that's a great skill that he has. And today we'll talk about that skill also with Neeraj. Apart from that, he is the master of networking. If you talk about networking, you must be knowing about BNI, right? And he is the one who started the Indian chapter of BNI and that has grown over the years to more than 10,000 people today. That's, that's a phenomenal growth that he has achieved. And that is situated in more than 28 cities right now in India, the BNI network. And together they have generated revenue. He has helped people generate revenue of more than USD 450 million. Now that matters. He has also co-authored a book that is BNI Handy Guide to Networking. Right? And he's a contributing author uh, to Wall Street Journal, bestseller, Master of Success. So he's, he's the guy for today. And Neeraj is also the founder of Titan Masterminds. That is his own uh, venture where he trains people on networking and how to use networking to grow your business. And therefore, that's the topic for today's session. Right? Now we'll be asking a lot of questions with Mr. Neeraj, a lot of questions. And just to give you a brief before we start the real session and before I call Neeraj in, one of the question is that why networking? What is the purpose of networking? Why is networking so important in growing your business? And can't you do without networking? Can't you just do your business without any kind of networking? So why is networking so important? Number two, how to network? Should we go with numbers or value-wise, right? So is quantity more important than quality or is quality more important? So should I have 10,000 uh, followers on LinkedIn to be called as a good networking person? Or should I have those 100 people who matters the most? So that's the topic for today, high value clients, right? So how to build a network which really pays, which, which generates business for you? Okay, or even if you are an employee, uh, somebody was asking me the other day that I'm just an employee. I, I work for an MNC or with some uh, company, PwC and all. So do I need to grow my network? Do I need to focus? Because I'm just an employee, I don't do business. I'm not a freelancer. I'm not a remote worker. Should I, uh, how it is important for me? So I told him one thing that look today, even the HR people who take your interview, the first look at your LinkedIn profile. How does your LinkedIn profile look? So networking today is not just about doing business. It's not just about having clients, but also attracting good offers. LinkedIn has become the most popular search engine for employment, right? So keep track on that. So I'll introduce today's speaker to you, Mr. Neera Cha. Hi, Neeraj. Welcome Hi. you to Technology Talks. Hi, Farooq. Wonderful to be here with you, especially beginning the new year with you. Great, great. So how is it going? Wonderful. How I think we've, we've, we've kicked off a, a great new year and a great new decade. Exactly, exactly. So hope that it, it, it is totally different from 2020. Well, I mean, I, I think you're going to definitely see lots of things happening. Uh, so let's see how we can help uh, people make 2021 successful. So first thing that our audience would like to know from you, Niraj, is why networking? What exactly is the meaning of networking? Because these days everyone talks about networking. Oh, I have to build my network and this is. And uh, people uh, use Facebook a lot. And since they've been using Facebook for so many years, they make a lot of friends out there on Facebook. And somewhere they think that LinkedIn is a business Facebook. So yeah. <laughs> how will you differentiate the two? Yeah. Yeah, I think, look, uh, one of the most important things out there is having your uh, network. You know, they say that the, your net worth will be very closely attached to your network. 
and uh, anything can happen in terms of new connections can happen if you have the right network new opportunities can be attracted because of having the right network uh, new jobs can be attracted new uh, capital uh, can be attracted if you have the right network so all of those are relevant because uh, not only you know people but people know you and and that's very important in this day and age where you know uh, it used to be a case where before the internet it was who did you know you know but now what's happened with the internet is that it's a question of who knows you and it works it's a it's a two way street and um, you know something that you touched on a little bit earlier is is very relevant which is you know should i build a wide network or should i build a deep network and i think you need to actually have both but at the end of the day understand that the kind of opportunities that you get in your network are going to be really based upon the relationships that you develop uh, people look at roi you know saying return on investment but actually what they should be focusing on is return on relationships roi uh -huh. <laughs> so so it's really important to have that so another thing that people uh, send requests there are two ways of getting connections on linkedin one is sending requests for connection mm. when you send out a request so should you send out it to anyone that may be related to your business or you pick and choose and then send a request yeah that's that's a great question and what what i would suggest to you is that it's very important to know what sort of business you are in okay and even if you are a freelancer or an employee okay it's very important to understand what industry you're in okay if you're an employee then you want to be networking with other like minded you know in similar positions and above okay uh, and expanding your network accordingly. So whenever you accept a connection request, uh, understand that that is going to determine then what begins to show up on your LinkedIn feed. So if you're not happy with the kind of things that begin to show up on your LinkedIn feed and begin to say, oh, you know, uh, the quality of LinkedIn is going down, that's simply coming down to you because you may have accepted people. that really should not be in your network that, that's very important point that you have raised so i think all the audience who are watching this right now should note this point that uh, if you if you accept anyone then that becomes your profile i think so uh, then the linkedin engine will also determine people like that yeah it will not only determine people like that but also it will begin to show you uh, the kind of content that they are posting so it's a uh, very important that you are judicious in terms of okay who do i want to be connecting to and as you said you know either you can be reactive about that so as in when people send out requests to you or you can be proactive about it and identify and particularly if you are in business okay then you want to be very clear about who is your ideal type of client and one of the things that is brilliant about linkedin is that it now has over 720 million people there are over 720 million people as of you know uh, the beginning of 2021 and four out of five of the people on linkedin are decision makers so this is very important you know they're involved in key decisions related to their company the other thing is that you have very high net worth individuals on linkedin 41% of millionaires are actually on linkedin so i think that makes a amazing combination of people who are able to make decisions and who also uh, are high net worth uh, so you know when i say that you're able to win high value clients that's why i'm saying you know you're able to determine uh, people in that particular way finally the other thing is that there's no other network that allows you to hyper target where literally you can say okay i want specific you know like i want managing directors within it services companies okay and i want them in a certain location 
and you're able to actually search for them uh, on LinkedIn and begin to proactively you know, grow your network. And if you begin to do that in that way, then what will happen is that um, you will build a large a network of people who are prospective clients. And if you then uh, begin to use some of the key principles of networking, okay? And, and it, it's a very simple uh, sort of sequential uh, system, okay? The first thing is you've got to become visible. Uh, it's VCP and it's a process, okay? So V is all about visibility. And visibility starts with having the right profile in place, your LinkedIn profile needs to show up, you know, when, you know, did you know that there are 6.7 billion searches being done on LinkedIn? Okay. Now the, now the question is, are you turning up when people put in your profession or your expertise or your niche? If you're not, then, you know, it's because you probably have not optimized your profile. I'm going to you know, take you through a few of the things that you can do uh, immediately, and I'll show you uh, with my uh, profile. So I think that's one of the ways in which you can first become visible. Okay, Then you've got to proactively begin to build your network. Uh, you know, Look at who are the kind of people that you require, uh, perhaps as ideal clients, if you work uh, for, for others, then, you know, what you want to look at is that what industry am I in? Am I networking with uh, people from the profession uh, who are also in the same industry? Say you're into logistics or you say work for accounting firm, then, you know, think in terms of who are other accountants in other um, companies, okay? Who are people that you would like to work with in terms of say you work for Price Waterhouse, but you know tomorrow you want to do an audit for uh, a particular company, then it's good if you begin to expand your network into you know those sorts of companies. So proactively find them. The other thing is if you're a business owner or a freelancer, you know we're not able to get things done by ourselves only. Okay, we can't have a huge unlimited. Um, number of people working for us. Probably what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get suppliers, people who are specialists, you know, who are complementary to us or can give us uh, services, products and services that we will need. Okay, so you're able to find them on LinkedIn. So you're able to search for them and 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 find them. So you know that's that's. What you mean to say is to look at the whole ecosystem and not drilling down to just one aspect of it. Yes, and, and, and I think it depends on you know what your current position is. Now, tomorrow, say if you are going to, you're currently working somewhere and looking to start up on your own, then you know who's your ideal future client. One of the exactly. most important things is you know build your network before you need it. <laughs> if, That's if, a very good strategy. I think all, all the viewers should know this point that you should look at least five years down the line and all your future dreams which are there. So you build a network accordingly and then take a push, right? Yeah, I mean, when I first moved to India to get BNI started, I only knew one person. But what had happened was that I had built a global network of professionals and business owners that I knew that if I contacted, that they would um, be able to put me in touch with, you know, the right people. So, you know, when I was moving here from the UK, I sent out an email uh, to all my professional contacts and family and friends and said, hey, guys, I'm moving to India. I'm going to start a new business. Who do you know? Uh, and uh, it was amazing the kind of people that uh, were referred to me. And uh, take, for example, someone who's very active uh, currently on LinkedIn, there's a gentleman by the name of Anuj Puri. And anyone who is in the real estate field uh, will know him as an absolute rock star. You know, he was with JLL. He was the chairman of JLL in uh, India for a long time. And it's under his leadership that JLL really you know, uh, went on to dominate in the market. And that particular referral came through, you know, by me asking my network. 
Um, and, you know, the first uh, BNI membership was actually uh, one of the senior commercial people from JLL. So, you know, when I mentioned to people that, look, this particular gentleman was going to be uh, there, it helped me create more attraction. Then people started taking um, me much more seriously because at that point in time, they didn't know who I was. They didn't know whether I should be taken seriously. So, you know, even if you're starting out something new and you get in touch with, you have a powerful network around you, then it can help you create attraction. Exactly. That is a wonderful point you have uh, mentioned, Neeraj. Now, another point I want to ask you that one thing you have focused on is the profile. Mm. Why profile is important? Because people will search about a particular business or particular supplier and your name should come to them, right? So, one thing is the profile. Another thing we hear about is the content that you must post on LinkedIn. So how are two different and how, how they play in their own areas? So funny enough, uh, LinkedIn has a Moz score of 100 out of 100. What does that mean? It's, it's getting a little bit technical in terms of SEO. Okay. But essentially any site that has a 100 out of 100 Moz score, okay, means that it shows up on the top of a Google search. So when people type your name in on Google, okay, it's likely that your LinkedIn profile will turn up first. Oh. So it's very important that even if you're not going to be very active on LinkedIn, <laughs> that you at least have an optimized profile, okay? Second thing is that particularly in the B2B space, but I think in, in this day and age, both uh, B2C as well, uh, you've got to make sure that you have a strong personal brand. So when people are looking for your product or service, you know, do you have top of mind awareness? And uh, you know, this is where uh, creating content begins to come in and especially if you are a, say, a freelancer or a professional, this is where you are able to unpack your intellectual property, okay? So through content, you are able to showcase your expertise and it builds your credibility. And remember in networking, I said there's a process VCP and you can't jump the process. You know, V stands for visibility. You know, are you visible? You know, when people search for you, do you show up, you know, and that's where the profile comes in. And then the next part where you're able to build credibility is one through posting the right kind of content, which showcases your expertise. And another is through the interaction that you have with people in your network. You know, do you leave, uh, you know, good comments, thoughtful comments on other people's uh, profiles on other people's posts, you know, for things that you follow, that you care about, that you have an expertise in, okay? Um, are you leaving thoughtful comments? Because that's a very easy way. If you, if you leave a thoughtful comment, then suddenly, you know, uh, not only that person will get to know who you are, but people in his network who are following that post, who've liked that post, suddenly, you know, so that's a ninja tactic on, you know, <laughs> uh, showing your visibility. And, and especially if they are someone who's very active on uh, LinkedIn, you know, so, you know, you will see me every now and then, you know, comment on people like um, Tony Robbins, uh, Vishen Lakhiani, uh, et cetera. Now, these are people that I do know, and uh, I'm not, sure whether Tony Robbins will remember me, but certainly Vishen Lakhiani knows me. So, you know, every now and then when I post a thoughtful comment, what happens is, is not only I'm reminding Vishen about our friendship, but also his followers kind of get to know me. And, you know, there'll, there'll be times when, you know, his followers end up becoming my uh, connections. That's that's great. So all the viewers, I would like to remind them that there are three uh, hacks now that Neeraj has given us and we thank him for that. Otherwise, he charges a lot of money to train people in LinkedIn. 
but he's giving us a lot of things free today. So one thing is visibility, so build your profile good. And he'll, uh, in the later part of today's session, he's going to teach us also and uh, take through some profiles and show us the real profiles and how these people have made the profiles and how they have got the advantage out of it. So uh, one is profile. Secondly, the content that you put. So that is to hold people around you and to really share your knowledge base. And the third thing is the interaction part. So that was a real good hack. And actually, I used it a few days back, not with the sense of using it, but I just read about one of uh, the posts, you know, about that rag to riches stories that are out there. Mm. A lot of comments were there. So I posted a good comment. So it was slightly negative of the real uh, the post, slightly mm. good, but not totally mm. not bullying that person. <laughs> mm. Of course not. And uh, today, my post, I mean, my comment has got more likes than the post itself. So that can also happen sometimes. Yeah. And I, I think one of the things there is that on LinkedIn, as in with many other platforms out there, a uh, lot of people are lurking. They're consuming content. They're not creating content. And yet on professional networks like LinkedIn, people are logging in every day. Uh, so if you are one of these people who is posting good content, and I'll show you examples of good content as well in a moment, you know, because uh, I've been reading some of the comments that people have been posting. They don't want uh, too much gyan and, and they, they want actual uh, things that uh, they can action. So don't worry, you know, hang on to your horses. We are going to be showing you all of those particular things. Okay. Um, but commenting is a simple way in which you're able to get engagement and begin to uh, show your uh, visibility and credibility. But profitability, how can you do that? That comes through messaging. Okay. Uh, messaging is one way in which you're able to do it. And this is a lot of the things that happen under the hood. So, you know, this is not something which is public. So it's one to one level. And what I would say is that, you know, <clears throat> use messaging in a technical manner. What do I mean by technical? OK. Um, LinkedIn allows you not just to type text, OK? It allows you to send GIFs. It allows you to send little videos. It allows you to send voice messages. OK, these are very simple, easy ways where you can begin to um, get someone else to know you. You know, typically we will type, but say if you were to send a voice message or send a short video, which is personalized, then the response rate uh, you're going to get to that is going to be um, amazing. So the other day, um, like I work with a lot of consultants and uh, particularly, you know, consultants from these larger type of companies. So one of the people that I was interacting with was uh, a managing director at Accenture. Okay, so very high level. And I knew he was from the IT uh, space, particularly, you know, so I sent him a little message saying, hey, you know, what, what's the key focus for 2021? And then he gave me some uh, input. And based upon that, I was then able to send him a link to one of my posts, which is very future based and was talking about how AI was uh, really going to uh, dominate, you know, going forward. Yeah. And uh, it, it really helped build trust because he went through it and he said, this is amazing stuff. It's really got me thinking. So, you know, it seems that you're a real expert in this. So now, you know, I was able to curate my content because I had context. I was able to understand, you know, that he is someone who specializes in SAP and Oracle implementation. And I, I was able to say, okay, have a look at this particular post on this point. You know, I'm mentioning this. So, you know, you're able to add much more value. In and this is one of the things that um, in networking, generosity plays a big part. Okay. Um, we should look at helping others first and then look to gain. And one of the big mistakes people end up making is that as soon as 
you know, someone's accepted their connection request, they go straight into, oh, this is what I do and this is how I can help you. Okay, now let me give you how bad that sounds, okay? Imagine you and I have met for the first time at a physical networking event, okay? And, you know, literally you've just introduced yourself and you've said, I'm Farooq, I'm from Taxology. And literally straight after that, it's like, I give you not only my card, I give you my brochure and I try and sell to you. How, how are you going to feel? You, you, you're going to step back, right? So, so this is the equivalent of when people just go out there and send immediately to a new connection request that this is um, how I can help you. And essentially, it's like, you know, I'm going to use a sort of a dating analogy here. It's the equivalent of, you know, uh, you asking the girl to marry you on uh, the first meeting. And you might these days end up with a slap on your face rather than, uh, you know, understanding that, look, when that happens, you know, when you meet someone who you are interested in, then all you're interested in is maybe getting to, you know, have another coffee. You know, like saying, you know, can I get you out for a coffee? Can we meet up for a coffee? You know, and if that coffee goes well, then, you know, how can you get another coffee and then begin to develop the relationship in such a way that naturally uh, they want to find out more about you, uh, the kind of things that you do and the value that you add. And then you're able to ask some qualifying questions saying, you know, do you need any help with that? Because I can help you. And then you'll be able to, convert a connection into, um, you know, lead. a profitable client. Yes, a lead. And, and then what I would suggest at that point in time is that you want to get them off LinkedIn and get people on a call. And in this day and age, you know, it might be Zoom or Teams or uh, whichever service that you are uh, looking at. So it, it's, it's very important that uh, these things happen. So Neeraj, can you show us a few profiles that you have taken out? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let, let me just uh, share my screen and, um, you know, show you some things. Okay. So I hope um, you guys are able to see my uh, screen. Yes, definitely. Okay. Wonderful. Maybe okay. I, uh, stop my video so that it comes full screen. Sure. Sure. Okay. So a couple of key things, okay? I want to uh, point out a couple of things, okay? The first thing here, your profile photo is very important, okay? Because that is the first thing that people are going to end up seeing, okay? And your profile photo must convey three key things, okay? Number one is likability, okay? People must feel that uh, you are someone that is easy to get on with and likable, okay? Next thing, people need to uh, see whether you are uh, competent. And third thing, influential, okay? So it's so important that uh, people are able to get all of these particular things. And actually, we are making these sorts of decisions uh, very quickly, okay? Uh, we're making them split second. So it's important that you have a photo which is forward facing, okay? Which 60% of it is your head. Uh, they're able to see your eye and, you know, like smile, okay? Try and think, you know, if I were meeting my number one uh, client, you know, how would I be dressed? Okay, so you want to be dressed uh, accordingly. And you notice here that I put even a ring uh, outside of, uh, in my photo. So that what happens is that my photo stands out from the other photos that are out there. And I would suggest that you use something which is um, in your brand colors. And one of my brand colors is this particular blue. Okay. So that is one thing. And I want to just quickly show you, there's a very cool um, software. Okay. That it's called Snapper, okay? And it's this Snapper Photo Analyzer. And it uses AI, 
okay, uses artificial intelligence to actually rate how good your photo is. And here you can see, analyze my LinkedIn photo, and it will literally give you a score out of 100, and it will take these various factors into play. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to uh, go through this right now, but you know, do uh, check it out. Snapper.com and it's the photo analyzer. Okay, so that's how you'll know and you want to be scoring 70 or above. Okay. Uh, next thing, the profile banner, which is this big element here. Okay, is the second thing that people are going to end up seeing. Okay. Now, the profile banner, many people just leave it blank, okay? That is not going to help you build your brand. This is something that is there to help you build your brand. It must convey authority, competence, credibility, and expertise, okay? And in this case, there are a couple of key things that I've done. You know, here I've got some photos with some famous, uh, you know, people. Uh, so I've included those. Then here I'm speaking and I'm receiving a ovation and you can see a mic in my hand. Uh, this is me on the Mind Valley stage for the people who would know. But here on the right hand side, there are certain key words that I have used. Business mentor, LinkedIn expert, international speaker, trainer and author. Okay. So what happens is that immediately people understand my key expertise. And then here subtly my you know, brand is here, Titan Masterminds, okay? So again, this is all about building your visibility and people are 70% of the people out there are visual people. So it's so important that you get these visuals right, okay? Now, <clears throat> couple of other things, okay? Now this here, is your headline. It's called your headline. And the biggest mistake I've seen people make is that typically people just put their company and position, okay? But it is not for that. You can put your company and position at a much lower uh, place, which is in experience. So you can see here in experience, you know, here, uh, founder, CEO, etc. It is there, but when it comes to your headline, this is what, when people are searching for you in the search bar. And you know, here we have the search bar on LinkedIn, okay? And if you put in a certain term, okay, the question is, are you going to show up? And if you don't have these terms in the headline, then you are not going to end up showing up. So in here, you know, I've identified, you know, certain key uh, things that I want to be found for. So LinkedIn expert is one, digital marketing coach, business mentor, keynote speaker, uh, you know, things like that. Okay. And LinkedIn allows you up to 220 characters. That's not words, but it's characters. Okay. So this is how, you know, you can begin to utilize. Now here at the end, you will see that I have put, I help consultants win high value business on LinkedIn. So you want one key sentence to end with, which is who do you help and how do you help them? You know, what desired result do you help them achieve? Okay, and this is what will help you become very visible. In fact, you know, Divya from your team got in touch with me because, you know, I had my profile optimized in the right way. And when she was looking for a LinkedIn expert, you know, this, this is how, you know, I ended up turning up. Okay, is, is this uh, making sense to you, uh, Farooq? I'm just kind of... Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. So I'm I'm gonna share some other uh, other things. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna just share some other things now. One of the things that I wanted to quickly show you uh, is that say, um, 
I'm looking for a particular uh, type of person that I want to uh, connect to, okay? So say I'm looking for a managing director. Okay, so I will type this in, okay? Into the search profile. And I'm then able to begin to find people that have that particular job profile, okay? Now, what you will see here is that there are also filters, okay? So you can begin to, you know, look at uh, connections and, and what I suggest that you want to do is you want to look at people who are second degree connections. So that means that they're not directly connected to you, but you have some sort of mutual connection uh, in place. So, you know, I would do that. I would apply and then say you're looking for people that are within a particular location. So take, for example, I'm looking for someone here in Mumbai. Okay. So once I, I do that, then, you know, you can see here that instead of having 3 million plus uh, connections, now suddenly this is down to about 9,100 people. And I'm able to begin to see, you know, who they are, you know, what what's their position, you know, are we part of, uh, do we have some shared connections, who, who they are, you know, things like that. So, you know, this is how you can begin to proactively begin to build your network and, uh, you know, begin to do that, okay? And then one of the other things that I wanted to show you is, you know, um, how you begin to use uh, posts. Okay, so I wanted to show uh, you some different types of posts uh, that I have ended up making. And this is something that then begins to show your credibility. Okay, so here I've done a little short video, uh, th three things that your LinkedIn profile should convey. So you can see it's got 190 views. Then here, this is a, a short quote, okay? Um, now, one of the things that I was looking at, uh, because people are, a lot of salespeople, then, you know, I, I did a particular quote on um, salespeople, and it wasn't so much a quote, it was something I have learned in my experience. So I made a particular comment uh, on, you know, salespeople grow sales, sales leaders grow salespeople. The best salespeople don't usually uh, make the best sales leader. And then I'm, I was asking people, you know, for their take on it. And it's got me lots of comments uh, and you can see views. Now, this is another thing that is working uh, very well. So again, this is something related to sales, but you can see here, it's had over 2000 uh, views and it's something called a document post, okay? So I'm able to here, you can see there's a little arrow and you know, if I kind of click on this, then people are able to scroll and you know, they're able to uh, learn some things, okay? So, you know, this is a very popular, so there are many different things uh, that you can end up, uh, you know, doing here. You know, I'm, I'm just, there's a particular book I was reading. So, you know, I, I kind of posted that. So there's many different things that you can end up, uh, you know, doing out there. The amazing thing about LinkedIn is that you can even just do text posts you know, no image, no video, nothing, okay? And even those end up getting, you know, very good views. You can see that this this has almost had a thousand uh, views, okay? So th these are some simple ways in which you can then begin to, uh, you know, really connect with people, uh, take your visibility and add credibility to it. And from this, when people are ready, then what will happen is you will begin to get inbound leads. People will connect to you and say, hey, you know, I really like this. Uh, can you help me with X, Y, or Z? 
And this is how you're able to take people off um, LinkedIn and get them on a call with you and get new clients. So Farouk, is, is this all kind of making sense? Yeah, that was amazing. There, there were some amazing tricks and uh, almost covered everything. I would say you covered the profile section and you covered the content section very, very well. So if, if the, uh, let us see, somebody has any questions to ask. Yes. Yeah. Let me see the chat part. Sure, sure. Please go ahead. <laughs> so it's all those guys who are watching this live right now. They can ask questions if you want to. Yeah, one. I think Yeah. Um, may I speak in Hindi? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, but I, I won't I won't be able to respond so well in Hindi. I hope that's okay. <laughs> but you can no. certainly ask in Hindi. Sorry for that. I am not. No, 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 no problem at all. May I ask this question? Because I am a CF analyst student. Hmm. And as I am a little financially, I am. क्राइसिस है थोड़ा सा दिक्कत है और मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि मैं पार्ट टाइम जॉब बेसिस पे लिखनीं पे अपने आप को वो कर कर चाहता हूँ तो मुझे कैसे उस पे ये करना प्रोसेस करना जैसे कि मुझे काम भी मिल जाए कि उसके साथ मैं पढ़ाई भी कर सकूँ शॉर्ट शॉर्ट so, so what you, what you can do is that you can begin to identify people that uh, you like you enjoy uh, their content Okay, you can make sure that you first begin to comment on their content, uh, whatever it is uh, that you think can be a positive comment. It can be a comment of appreciation. Uh, what did you learn from them? You know, things like that. And before you send them a connection request, get a few interactions like this with them. Okay, and then send them a connection uh, request thereafter, because then what happens is that you're able to mentioned that we've been having this interaction and you are someone that inspires me and therefore I want to be connected with you. Because if you send with that very positive intent, then people are going to accept. That is number one. Number two is that um, if you feel that there might be something that you're able to help them with saying that, look, uh, there is something that I think I can help you with. Uh, you know, if you'd like me to do some trial work for you here, and then if you like it, then, you know, you can continue with me, you know, because it's about building a relationship and adding value. Okay, so this is a very easy way. And what will happen is that not everyone will say yes, but for some of the people who will say yes, you know, what will happen is that at least you will be able to gain, gain some experience. And tomorrow, even when you are uh, talking to other prospective employees, you're able to say that I've been able to do this work, okay, which will help build your CV, your resume, okay. And then what you can do is you can end up writing a small article, a small case study about what you did for that particular company or client, okay, which Tomorrow, when someone is a prospective employer, you can refer them and say, look, this is some of the work that I've done. This will make you stand out from all the other people who are out there who say, oh, please give me a job. Exactly. Al Alam, is it making sense to you? I hope, uh, I'm sorry, I've not been able to respond back in Hindi, but I, I hope it's clear. Yes. And as as Neeraj said, you make your profile very good, like what kind of services you can offer. Like right now you want to get a part-time job, right? Along with your studies. So what kind of work you can do? What kind of people you want to attract? That's very important to mention in your profile. As mm -hmm. Neeraj just said. Once you do that, once people come to your profile, they should know that what kind of services you can give them. Yeah, and, and think in terms of pains that people are going through right now, okay? A lot of people's uh, revenues have been affected, okay? 
And one of the things that they're looking at is, uh, you know, sure, you can get more sales, but one of the ways in which you can make money is by cutting cost. Okay. So you could maybe say, I'm a CA or I'm, you know, training to be a CA. And one of the things I can do, I can do a cost analysis, uh, you know, for you. That would then add a lot of value. And you say, you know, you might give one or two suggestions. Yeah, so thanks, Alam, for your question. Another question somebody is asking. Uh, so Zafar is there. That I would love to share my experience how I actually jumped into international markets since 2018. Uh, what's my approach and how I get paid working as an analyst? So I think, Mr. Zafar, you can join. Just a second, Zafar. Hello, everyone. Yeah, Zafar here. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Farooq, Mr. Nirasha. And um, I've been, you know, hearing you from the starting minutes. I was also on YouTube and I suddenly got a link here and I got connected. So I'm actually representing, uh, I'm actually representing my company. So I, I started as a, you know, very in my very end stage of my career. Um, I was struggling to get the leads for other companies. For the company, they used to, uh, you know, um, technology developing companies, e-commerce companies and all. A lot of companies were looking for uh, lead development uh, associates. I was one of them. I joined a company, they're looking for lead development. And I tried, tried, tried. I failed so many times. And suddenly I got an idea uh, working with the UK clients. I got an idea. He, he told me actually that this is an approach which we tried in the UK. So I became a CTO, a virtual CTO for uh, small, small companies. Uh, like uh, for an example, a company, we are the e-commerce technology-based company and there are some e-commerce users. For example, Magento, Shopify, this type of users was there. And they need a lot of help, uh, uh, IT uh, help all the time. They need some update, they need changes, and all, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did, I became a CTO, a virtual CTO in their company, free of cost. And whenever they need any help, I, I charge $150 per week to them. I charge $150 per week, and I gave around four hours a day. It was an experience that uh, I gained more than 30 clients yeah, till now, uh, more than 30 clients. Still, they are working with me. So uh, the recurring profits was, uh, was the uh, win for me. And the client who trusts me, I build a report. Uh, I, you know, uh, my, my main focus was to build a work in partnership uh, environment, not just pay to a freelancer and he never trusts a freelancer, just take a work and okay, oh, okay, Mr. X, thank you, bye-bye. Uh, it was the actual market. But I entered into the market as a virtual CTO, virtual analyst, uh, I became the part of the company. I worked in partnership. Initially, I some sometimes I didn't get paid, but the recurring profit was like was my everything. Uh, that's what I'm trying to. I, I, I'm not very good in English, but uh, this is what I'm trying to say. That that's fantastic, Zafar. So, what question you have for Neeraj? I I think he, I think he just wanted to share his experience. I'm not okay. sure whether he had a. A question, but yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, one, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, story, and yeah. and and definitely, you know, again, this is about you know generosity. He, you know, he identified a particular problem that was there and said that look, I can give you some inputs, and then you know he was able to give an offer which he was then able to monetize. So it's very important that uh, first add value to your network out there. Uh, you know, he identified certain key e-commerce platforms where people were struggling with. And if he begins to put together some content based on that, uh, common questions that people have or common areas that they get stuck in and then refer people to that, then that will actually help build trust. Absolutely. So actually LinkedIn and networking really opens up the doors to new business. 
Yeah, and 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 posting gives you uh, inbound leads, and I will say messaging uh, gives you outbound leads. So you're able to use both, and if you use both of them in tandem, then this is where uh, you're able to work very quickly. Now, now one of the posts uh, that, that are there, uh, I just want to show you again. I'll just quickly. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, share just just give me a second. I'm going to go back to my uh, profile, and then I want to show you a particular place uh, that I have uh, used. So give me a second. Okay, I'm just sharing my screen here. Okay, so here this is in my featured section. Okay, and you can see there's a post here that I've done the ultimate LinkedIn profile checklist, and if you click on this particular post, okay? Um, if people are interested in this, then what happens is that they click on this particular link, okay? And it takes them to a landing page. And here people to get access to this, then can put in the name, the email ID, and this is how voluntarily they come on to my email list. And then I have a nurturing sequence, uh, which nurtures them and gets them to want to have a uh, call, you know, with me. So it, you know, this is a, a post, which is now letting people know that, you know, this is how they can get a lot more value. Okay. And you can see here, you know, people have written, you know, thanks Neeraj will download much gratitude. And even when you're having uh, conversations, you know, you're nurturing a lead and you ask them, you know, are you having this particular problem? Or I can see that you're quite active on um, uh, LinkedIn or, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever problem you solve. And say, hey, I have some resource, free resource on it. Would you be interested? And then if they say yes, saying, hey, here's the link and you can download. So that, that's, a, again, another easy way in which you can begin to generate leads. Another, this is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. that are certifications as important as recommendations on LinkedIn profile? I, I'm, I'm going to say that I would give more weight to recommendations because as time goes on, you know, certifications, um, you know, uh, age, you know, whereas, you know, people want to know, you know, how good was your last client, you know, and one of the things that you want to be doing is that every month you should be looking to give and get uh, recommendations. And uh, you want some very good recommendations. You know, your LinkedIn profile, at least minimum, should have five. You know, and not the generic type. You know, like, oh, Farouk's a nice guy yeah. kind of uh, recommendation. You know, it's like, you know, uh, what was the problem that you reached out to Farouk for? What did he do? And what were the results? Okay. And, and typically... When you're asking for recommendations, you know, most people don't know how to do it in the right way. So you, when you're asking for the recommendation to these people, you've got to ask and refresh their memory saying, you know, can you mention some of these things? Uh, otherwise, people will give you a very generic uh, one. I'll just quickly just show you um, some of the kind of uh, ones that I have. Uh, to to just show you that. So if if we kind of go again to my profile, oops, um, and we just scroll down. Okay, so you can see here, you know, people are giving some very uh, clear things. You know, they're giving numbers and results and things that they've uh, helped. Uh, that I've helped them uh, achieve. And, and one of the things that I wanted to show you, which sometimes people are not aware of, is that LinkedIn has an algorithm that they actually allow you to see. And it's called the social selling index. 
And mm -hmm. if you go to linkedin.com forward slash sales forward slash SSI, that's linkedin.com forward slash sales forward slash SSI, okay? You will actually get your SSI score, which is your social selling index score, okay? And typically you want this to be 75 or above uh, for you to really begin to regularly get business through uh, LinkedIn. And, you know, there the are four key areas. You know, one is, you know, are you building your professional brand uh, through your content and your profile? Then, you know, are you, you know, the purple one is, are you building your network proactively with the right kind of people? Then, uh, you know, this green one is, are you engaging with the insights from your particular industry. And then, you know, um, the last one, blue one is, you know, are you building relationships? You know, do you respond back, uh, you know, to comments and uh, messages that you get? And, and this gives you a very clear thing. And a lot of the work that I do, I end up working on helping move this very quickly and, and getting people, you know, into the late 70s, if not the early 80s. That's a wonderful uh, way of analyzing. Like Google Analytics is there. So this is LinkedIn Analytics, you can say. Yes, yes. This is LinkedIn uh, showing you how your activity is uh, matching up to their algorithm. And obviously, the higher the score, the better you are doing. So everything must check or keep checking this every now and then. Yeah, I, I, I believe I'm a, a marketeer who is very, uh, you know, data-driven. And in this day and age, I think you have to be data driven. You know, you can't just do things randomly. Exactly. So it was very nice talking with you, Neeraj, today. And the time is running out. Otherwise, we could have talked for hours together. Thank and you. So much information. But all of you out there who are watching this live or will watch this later on, there are some good takeaways also. So one thing is that Neeraj is going to organize a five days workshop and that's I would say everyone must attend. I myself personally am going to attend this. And uh, Neeraj, can you tell uh, the viewers about that? Yeah, so, so one of the key things that is very important is really having an all-star profile, okay? And LinkedIn has a particular status that it gives you, which is to make you an all-star. And that's how you first become visible on the platform. And there are many different optimizations that we have to go through. I've only had an opportunity to kind of scratch the surface, but you know, I want to actually help people uh, put that up. And you know, we have something uh, here, which is the winning LinkedIn profile challenge. So if you go to challenge.nirajshah.me, okay, uh, you can actually sign up for this. And it's a pre-recorded video Okay, every day you will get a different um, uh, video and I just want to show the screen. Uh, just give me a second. Um, so you can see it here. And uh, every day there's, there's specific things that I share and very specific action you can take every day. And by the end of the week, you will actually have an all star profile and immediately your SSI will jump. And, you know, I've had people go from low 20s to, you know, high, uh, you know, mid 70s, uh, you know, within, you know, one to two weeks. So, so that's how valuable the content uh, is here. And this will help you build your credibility as well. So I get into really uh, specific things that you can do. Uh, we have a gift is for you. Starting on January 11th, I think. Yes, this is starting uh, this coming Monday. And then what happens is you will get an opportunity to interact with me live every evening at 8 p.m. So whatever, you know, during the day, whenever you have time, you can watch the video. And then, you know, you can come on live uh, on Facebook. Uh, we have a group for it. And, you know, if you have any questions, uh, then, you know, you can ask me at 8 p.m. every uh, day. And uh, I, I will answer questions related to this. So if you're stuck anywhere, then I'm able to show you um, 
how, how yeah, I'll troubleshoot those particular things for you. And there's even a special prize for people who, you know, participate and I'll choose a, a lucky winner uh, for that. Uh, so that's there. And then there's some, um, the- um, you, you forgot to mention that this program is absolutely free. So you're yes. not charging anything for it. Yeah, in fact, there are people out there who are charging uh, for even this, uh, but I, I don't really believe um, in uh, charging for something like this. I, I, I really uh, look, typically work with high-end clients. So for me, an average client value would be $10,000 upwards. So, you know, I would love to, you know, just help people uh, get really active on LinkedIn. I, I believe that I'm doing a great service by having quality people uh, get the maximum value on LinkedIn. And the first start is having a great profile. So yeah, this is all for free, uh, no cost. That's, that's fantastic. And, and the other thing that I wanted to just let people know is that if you go, uh, there is a lp.nirachar.me, you can get this checklist and there's eight different key things that I highlight uh, in the checklist. So you can make again sure that uh, you know, that's in uh, place. Um, if, if you wanna connect to me, just I wanna just quickly share, um, the, there is a, uh, if, if you are on the LinkedIn mobile app, okay, if you take out your mobile app, your mobile photo, and then just here um, at the top of the search bar, you will see this little small um, thing, you know, just tap on it and then, you know, point it to this QR code. And then immediately you will be able to connect uh, to me. So I'd love to connect with you. Let's stay in touch and just mention that you are on this webinar or you've seen the recording. Um, so that that would be uh, really great. And then I just wanted to show you quickly, uh, you can go to this particular um, website, lp.nirachar.me. You can get your free gift uh, for participating today. Thank you so much for that. I think everyone should go and download the PDF and uh, apply it. And definitely you'll get a very high score very soon in your LinkedIn profile. So I think uh, that's enough for today. Not enough, but I would say the time is running out. That's, that's the main thing. So we'll have to stop it here, but it was a fantastic session with you, Niran. And hey, th Thank you so much, uh, Farooq. I really appreciate uh, this. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And all the people who are watching live must be benefited out of this. And uh, they, they must join this session. I would say five day session. You have to do it. And once you do it, give us the results also. So give it to Neeraj also and as well as to me. So that when next time we'll have Neeraj on the show, we'll have a lot of things to talk about more on these things. So thanks Neeraj. And all those who are viewing this live Taxology Talks, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, comment on what you want in the next talks to talk about. So because your talks with us are very important for our talks with you. So hope you guys give us good comments and good advice and good recommendations.